Cleo has moved on from the Grey Wolf Tavern and is making her way through the district towards the store known as Mad Cyril's Emporium. However, she is well aware of the individual who owns and runs this particular establishment, though she knows they will not be pleased to see her. It's been a while, after all. Standing outside the shop, she takes in the scene and the atmosphere. As run down as the first shop she attended, but this one also had a sense of darkness about it, as if something evil had been kept on the premises, though it had long been taken. Cleo takes a breath to steady herself. She doesn't feel nervous, but she needs to be aware of her surroundings. Hello? Anyone home? No, oh, ah, ooh, be it on this fine and dandy wandy. Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh. Hello, Gideon. It's been a long time, has it not? Cleo, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. So, why are you here? It's been now... Now let me see. It's been... Six years, Gideon. Six long years since we parted company. Since then, I've gained a new associate, and I can assure you that he's a far better person and investigator than you could ever be. I assume, however, you aren't here for the nostalgia. Let me guess, you're interested in what Maximus came to see me for. Mm -hmm. At least you haven't lost your sense of intuition. Or have you still got your spies following me? Cleo, you do me a disservice. I don't deal in clandestine matters any longer. I'm a man of legitimate business. So why did Maximus come to see you? What did he want? What is it I've heard about an amulet? You mean the amulet of recognition? Recognition? Yes, he came to purchase it from me. There's a newcomer to his group, and Maximus believes he knows them from his past. Who is that? He paid me 10,000 krell for it, so that he can find out if the new dancer is who he thinks they are. Dancer? And who is it Maximus suspects them to be? That, Cleo, <gasps> is none of your business. Maximus? How long have you been standing there? Long enough for you to not notice me. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? What evil plan have you in store for me? You better not have harmed Trajan. Relax, Cleo. Trajan is perfectly safe and still contacting his underworld friend. It's you I want. As I said, what evil plan have you in store for me? Torture me if you must, but you'll get nothing of what I know. Cleo, what kind of a man do you take me for? A monster of all things. Pardon? Nothing concerning you. The thought of torturing you hasn't even entered my mind. At least not yet, anyway. No, I have a proposal. Tell me, Maximus, what level of madness does it take for you to wish to make a proposal to me? Whatever you have to tell me, 
The answer is no. That's a pity, because it concerns the Shadow Lord. Someone who I believe has become very attached to your friend Trajan. Quite literally, it seems. I saw you that night talking to Trajan when the Shadow Lord manifested from him. Trajan told me that you were going to pull some strings to save us from having to see Rafik's execution at the hands of the Shadow Court. Of course, and I have. He walked into the trap I arranged. It was I who secretly tipped off the City Watch of his presence. I helped them to arrange his arrest. You were the bait that we needed. What? For that, I am grateful. Therefore, the City Watch will execute him, rather than him be executed by Corvus. I don't know whether to feel appreciative or disgusted at that thought. Would you at least indulge me and tell me about the amulet? If you so wish. The Amulet of Recognition is a powerful talisman created by a long-lost ancient civilization that existed long before the days of the Antius Empire. Its power lays in its crystal, which harnesses the power of the sun to work. Once it has absorbed enough sunlight, it can be used. Hmm, let me guess. This proposal is that you want me to wear it because of your vampire tendencies. Maximus Erasmus Volkov. Ah, so you did figure it out then. I knew leaving the ring at Fort Titan would lead you to the truth. And no, I don't want you to wear the amulet. You're more important to me alive than dead. So it does extract life from its wearer. Let me guess. You have someone else in mind to wear it. I do. But she doesn't know it yet. Once it has extracted her life force, there are three others I will give it to. They too shall wear it, and like the one before them, their life force shall too be harvested. It will make it easier for me, however, because all four of them are connected by bloodline. Of course. The family, Lynette. Did you say something? No, just thinking about how despicable you are. I'm sure your father is rather proud of you, no doubt. Actually, my father despises me as much as you do. However, I honestly don't care. I have too much fun on my own than having to carry out his dirty work. Granted, I return to Necrocher once in a while, but on the road is where I have my fun. I hear your journey has been quite a stretch so far. Perhaps it's all the pressing matters you have to deal with as leader of such a complicated troop. I imagine it doesn't roll along as smoothly as you'd like. <laughs> yes, well, that I will not deny. We have our problems in the camp, but I deal with them myself. It's the only way to keep everyone in order and obedient. So, what now? Where does this leave me? I am about to leave. When I have done so, you nor Gideon will remember this meeting. It will be as if you are meeting again for the first time round. Um, no, don't uh, worry, Cleo. I met with Trajan as well and also wiped his memory of the amulet. 
In time, you will both remember it. But only when I want you both to remember it. Cleo, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. So, why are you here? It's been now... Now let me see. It's been... Six years, Gideon. Six long years since we parted company. Since then, I've gained a new associate. And I can assure you that he is a far better person and investigator than you could ever be. The past is the past, and both you and I have moved on. It would never work. We went our separate ways for a reason. Let's face it, we're both happy. I have my Emporium. You have your detective agency with Trajan. There is only one question I wish to ask. Why this mad Cyril act? What made you come up with such a ridiculous idea? It's a gimmick for the customers. Those who are serious about making a purchase accept my act for what it is. And those who aren't serious leave dazed and confused by it. It's the ultimate deterrent for thieves too. Who would want to steal from a madman, especially if you don't know what he might do to defend his shop? <laughs> I suppose if you like that sort of thing, it will work. <laughs> However, I must leave and find Trajan. Perhaps he has managed to get some information from his contacts. Oh, we're investigating something important. It's to do with our search of the crown of the Tyrant King and and our journey to Varuna. Well, I wish you good luck off for your journey. Thank you, Gideon. Be sure to stay for when the caravan arrives. I hear it's quite a show. Trajan and I will be staying for its arrival. There's some people there we'd like to talk with when they do. It's been lovely seeing you again, Gideon. But I think... I think I must depart. So long, Cleo. Drop by in another six years or so. So, Maximus has wiped Cleo and Trajan's memory of the amulet. However... He has not wiped their memory of their task to save Trajan from the evil of the Shadow Lord. Cleo can't shake from her mind, though, the feeling that she may have recently met with Maximus, though she can't remember where or when, just that she met with him. She also feels deep concern for the family Lynette. As it appears, they are in grave danger from Maximus. She needs to warn Vespasian that Maximus is up to something. But without evidence as to what that may be, she may well put him on the pathway to danger. Feeling worried, she makes her way back to the coach in where her and Trajan has taken rooms. She will wait for her friend to return so that she can speak with him and find out what's going on in the city. Then, and only then, will they know the full extent of the intrigue that surrounds them.